Okay, so Phil, I just want your uh, your take on uh, we we talk, uh, you know you're 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 you got you travel a lot you you know you know what it's like to be on a plane. What do you think about what happened uh, with uh, United Airlines and and uh, they say that uh, that fiasco cost them one billion dollars in uh, a stock uh, the stock market adjustment. What, what do you think? Do you, do you agree with them grabbing somebody who had a seat already on the plane? Uh, and dragging them off, or they should have not loaded the plane until they loaded the plane with the people they wanted on the plane. I couldn't agree more. I thought it was terrible what they did. The guy's got a seat. He's sitting down. What the hell? Why, somebody else needed that seat? Or uh, Phil, uh, let me tell you, you're going to get pissed off. It was for a crew member. It was for a crew. You're kidding. I didn't know that. No, it's, that's, the, that's the information um, that it was for a crew member. Oh, Jesus, bless me. That's terrible. Well, they're going to get sued, and they're going to lose some money big time. And Yeah, but I, I don't think that that's a big problem. And the problem is, uh, John, you you said it. How many people saw that video? Two, 200 million plus? Yeah, 210 as of last night. It's got to be over 300 million now. Uh, that's uh, the most negative advertising and where everybody's fighting for business. And you know that the... Uh, all the American carriers have been struggling with bankruptcy and amalgamation and, 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 and shit like this to United uh, is, is terrible. Uh, I think it was absolutely terrible what they did to this man. And, uh, and uh, but they, what are you going to do? I mean, they, they, well, the, the CEO should have come out and defended his crew, his ground crew, the C. CEO should have come out and said, we're going to investigate this. We made a major mistake. We should not have boarded anybody until we got our shit together, right? And that's it. You don't board people and then say, listen, you're going to get off because you're fucking less important than the other person that we're going to put in there. Hey, let me ask you guys this. There's a worldwide call out for a ban on United Airlines. So you're sitting, Frank, you're going to a premiere in, 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 in L.A. Phil, you're, you're coming up to Toronto or Boston, and you, you're, you're on, you know, you're on, you know, your, your, web, your, your website. What's the, the big, uh, the trip website? What's it called? Uh, anyway, there's a flight, and it's $75 less to flight Uni uh, fly United as opposed to Delta or American or Southwest. Do you take it? Or do you boycott it? Really, guys? Well, well, well I'm not going to boycott American Airlines. I'm not going to. I'm not going to jeopardize uh, all those thousands of people's jobs for a few morons. Um, I would expect that American Airlines is a is a is a, an American corporation that has uh, people with uh, uh, brains, and they're going to fire or uh, or they're going to get those people who made that stupid fucking decision. I don't know if you guys remember, about 15, 20 years ago, there was a plane that was on the tarmac didn't go back to the gate for seven fucking hours. Well, I remember that one. I do remember that. But some fucking moron, some moron made that decision. Now, if you're not going to take off, or, or and, and you know, get the fucking people back at the fucking gate. Mm -hmm. You know what I don't understand with, the, with this age of technology and computers and all that shit? How could they overbook so badly? No, no, they did not. But so every airline, every airline, every airline overbooks by 5% because that's the logic, right? That they have the data that shows that 5% of people, right, sometimes don't show up, right, or they, they cancel. So they don't want any empty seats. But, but when, when it's overbooked, and I've been in the situation many times, and I hear them offering $800, $200, $700, right? A free, a free voucher, right? A lot of people take it to get on the next plane. Now, if they don't have any takers, remember, they don't board the fucking plane. They get the people who, have, who are low priority, who have discount tickets, and they take them off the fucking plane. I mean, oh. they, they, they don't allow them to board. They give them the voucher, right? Right. For another flight. And 99%, and I've, I've seen it done, people say, okay, that's fine. They expected it. You know, they got a, a, a cheap flight. They expect it, that they're, they're low on the tier, right? But you don't fucking board a person and then pull them off. You don't do that. No, once he's on, he's on. He's on, he's on. That's it. You got to come and seat. ask them, and and, and 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 they looked terrible because the four people they pulled off the fucking plane were all ethnic, ironically.
Oh, well, yeah, were they? I didn't yeah, know that. ironically. <laughs> uh, and, and I think the, the, the so that was catastrophic, and, the, 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 you know, pulling the guy off and, and him getting all bloodied and, and the shit kicked out of him by cops. Uh, the other thing that's catastrophic is the, is the CEO coming in and saying that he was a disruptive uh, passenger. Well, fuck, if, i got to tell you right now, if that was me in that fucking seat, uh, I would have made the fucking YouTube video too because there's no fucking way I was going to give my ass up to some fucking crew member.